<coughs> Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write. We want to learn how to read and write Hindi, and we are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both. Today is our day number 11 and we are working on Oki Matra. The first four days we did Aki Matra, the next four days, five through eight, we did the Iki Matra, and then on day number nine we started Oki Matra. We'll have four parts. We did day number nine and ten, and today is the part three or four for Oki Matra. Let's begin, shall we? What we learn in Oki Matra is that just like Iki Matra, there are two sounds: the short one and the long one, the short O and a long O. Short O would be words like English words like to. Bo is just simple. To is very quick, it's very short. Bo. The long O are words equivalent words in English language would be words like caught. Caught, as you can see here, the O is much longer. Bought. It's in the in the phonetics of English language, it's the O with the hat on it, as opposed to line. That's exactly what's going on in Hindi and in Urdu. Except we have symbols, we don't use letters, we have symbols to represent these sounds. For example, for Choti Oki Matra, for Choti Oki Matra, in Urdu, we take the letter B, B, this is all repetition, we did it yesterday, we did it day before yesterday. We take a B, and all we have to do is add wow to it, the letter wow, and it becomes Bo. In Hindi, you take the letter, you draw a line next to it, and put this symbol on the top. Similarly, P, add a wow to it, becomes a Po, and similarly, we take a P, we draw one line there, like a, like Aki Matra, and then we draw the symbol on the top, and it becomes becomes po. Similarly, for dal we add vowel, except the difference is that dal does not join the vowel. Dal, dal never joins any letter that appears to the left of it. It only joins the letter to its right. The letters like dal, re, uh, re, z, all of those letters, they do not join the letters to the to the left. So do remains do. Same thing here. What about Badioki Matra? Badioki Matra is also very straightforward. You do the same thing as you do here. You add the vowel, but in addition to vowel, we have to add a symbol called Zabar. This symbol called Zabar. This symbol is called Zabar. So we that symbol goes on top of the letter. So be Zabar and then vowel, when we join them, it becomes Bo. It requires two of them. Instead of one, it requires two of them. Similarly, pe zabar and a wa will become po, te zabar and a wa will become to, so on and so forth. Just begin, shall we? This was a real, uh, this was a quick recapitulation. Of course, recapitulation by definition is very quick uh, of what we learned the yesterday and day before yesterday about Oki Matra. Now let's 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 do some words. As always. As always, as we have been doing, we'll do Choti Oki Matra on the left hand side, Bari Oki Matra on the right hand side. Let's let's begin there. So here's the first word. This is our Be. When we join Wow to it, it becomes Bo. And that's going to look like this. That's so far Bo. So all of that is this part, Bo. So this is one part, Bo. And then to that we have to add To and a La. To and a La. Both of them. As you can see, it's always Hindi is very simple. You just keep writing next letter next to each other, and that's all. Here we have to figure out how to join this thing. So be is going to join the vowel. We just saw it again. So here's your be. You join it to vowel. That's a bo. And te has to join the l, lam. So here's the te, and it joins the lam, and becomes botol. As you can see, o is very quick. Botol. The next part we're going to see. Not only is a little bit more difficult, but you will see that the sound of o is longer. So here's the here's the uh, Badi Oki Matra. I'm going to first write the letter separately. So here first we have H, He, and as we have talked about many many times, He comes many He comes in many different forms in Urdu. It comes in four different forms. This one is called Badi He. These two are called Choti He, and this is called Dochashmi He. And Dochashmi He, we're going to soon make a use of it. So this word that we're about to write will have two He's. It will have this this He, the Choti He as well as Dochashmi here, we'll see soon how it appears in the, in, in the story. So that's her. Her. And then we have Th. Th. 
is going to be te plus the dochashmi here. That is the function that this he performs. This he performs this he in Urdu language. Where do you go? This he in Urdu language is called dochashmi he. And the function that it performs is that it converts sounds like ta into a ta, ba into a ba, ka into a ka. Because as we know by now, Urdu language do not have unique letters for these sounds. We do have sounds, and we make them like this, just like you would do it in English. If you have, if you want to write ta, if you want to write Thailand in Urdu, in English rather, if you want to write Thailand in English, English language does not have a letter for ta sound. So what do they do? They use t and h. Same thing we do here, t and h. So that's a ta. And then to that we'll add wow to it. So that's the oki matra. All of that is going to be oki matra. And then we can need choti iki matra. Choti iki matra. Let's raise this choti iki matra. We need letter re and choti. So this is choti iki matra. All of this is oki matra. And it's a buddy oki matra because we're going to put a zabar on it. And let's put them together now. So let's first write it in Hindi. Let's put first put it right in this. So the sound that you have, th, as we know, Hindi language has unique letters for it, and th looks like this. That's th. And we don't need th, we need to. And we don't just need to, we need a longer o, hato, and then ra. That's a ra, hato. And then we have but a choti ye, choti ye tells us that we need a badi ki matra. And the word we have here is hathori. But as you can see here, hathori, the O is longer, hathori. Now we have to learn how to join these letters. So the purpose of this exercise is I make four parts uh, for each each uh, matra. Four, we had four parts for the e ki matra. We, can, we are going to have four parts in oki matra. And similarly, four, we're going to have four parts for the uki matra and then finally e ki matra. The purpose of these exercises is not only to learn this matra, but in the process, learn the letters, the alphabet, and in particular in Urdu, learn how to join the letters, which is very important in Urdu because we can't just leave it like this. So let's put them together. So this ho is going to stay by itself. This thing, when it joins, it becomes like this. Like this. And now it has to join it. Now this guy has to join this guy. And then you put a if you want, you can put separate one if you want. You don't have to. That's her to, and then really that's it. Ray does not join anything to the left of it. And chodiye, because it appears when chodiye or badiye, when they appear at the end, they do not join anything. Very good. That's your authority. Authority as in, well, you know what authority is. Authority is in hammer. The female hammer. Because as you know, in, in our languages, Urdu and Hindi, we have males and females. English does not. Hammer is a hammer. But we have a Torah and a Hathori. This is a female. Let's do, let's do one with a Choti Iki Matra. So we have a D and a H. Again, we have to write it like this because we don't have a letter for it in, in, in Urdu. But Hindi does. D will look like this. The difference between D and a H is that the loop goes outside. That's a H. Oh sorry, that's a D. This loop does not go outside, that's a duh, so that's duh so far. And then we have a wow, because we are talking about oki matra, but this is choti oki matra. So it becomes, it takes a line, and then, so so far we have do. Then we're going to have a lam, l, do, l, k, ka, dolok. And you know what dolok is? Dolok is a drum. Let's put them together, it's getting too crowded, so I'm going to erase the authority. I'm going to, we're going to erase the bottle. You can erase everything except what we're dealing with. Dolok. Let's, let's join them together on top. Again, Dal is not going to join the He. Because as we just talked about, these letters do not join anything if it appears on the left hand side. But at the same time, this Choti, this Dochashmi He is not going to sit by itself. It's going to join this guy. Even though, even though this whole thing is one letter, is, is this one thing is one sound, but it has to join the vowel. So this is not the ho, is do. It's, this is the and this is o. Do. Do and then lam and then ka. Do lak. There we go. Let's do one with a choti uh, badi oki matra. Again, first with the letter. So again we have a ka. 
Ka fill zubar on it, so we know it's a bariyoki matra. So let's put it together. Ka, and then it's going to have wow next to it. It's ko, so we need two of them. Oh, we don't need ko, we just need ka. We just need ka. Ka, then we have a che, and a wow. That's the oki matra, and che has a zubar on it. So we have a ka, and then a cha. But this cha is not cha, it's ka cho. Two of them, ka cho, because it has a zavar on it, ka cho, ri. And that's a badi iki matra. Ka chori. Let's learn how to put it together, shall we? Let's learn how to put it together. So, as we already know, we have done it many, many times. When che appears in a short form, it looks like this. So, here's your calf. And the che is going to join it, and then the wow is going to continue with it. So, so far we have kacho, and then ri by, stays by itself. Ri does not join, and cho ri, because it appears at the very end, it just stays like that. There you go, that's kachori. As you can see, the sound of o is much longer, kachori. Let's do the next one, shall we? A chotioki matra. Chotioki matra. Jim and a wow. So that's a jo. It has no zubber, so it's a choti oki matra. Jo, and then ka, and a ro. Ka, kaf, and a re. Jo, kar. Jo, kar. Let's put them together in Urdu. Again, this jim, when it's about to join something, it becomes like this. And it's going to join the wow. So it's just going to take this part, and then wow is going to continue. This jo, and this is kaf, and a re. Jo, kar. Joker. Let's do next one. Badi oki matra. Pe. And then kaf with a zubber and a o. That's going to make it ko. Now, let's slow down for a second. Let's slow down one quick second. I'm going to erase this part because this is important. Let's slow down one quick second. What I wrote here just now is a ka and a zubber. That's a ko. Badi ko. Badi oki matra. Not to be confused with this letter. Not to be confused with this letter which when it appears like this. That's a gaf. That's a ga. When they are together next to each other, very close to each other, that's a ga. When it is on top of the whole thing, that's a zubber. That's a ko. Pa, ko, ra. Pakora. Again we have Bariyoki Matra and Aki Matra. Pakora. Let's write it in Hindi. Since this is already written there, I don't want to rewrite it. So let's, here we go. Pakora. That was very easy. Pakora. Hindi is always very easy to put it together. Because as, as you know, you don't have to join anything. Let's put join them together. So what's going to happen is, this guy is going to become smaller and it's going to come over here. Like this. This guy is going to get up, this guy is going to get up and move closer. And then this guy is going to get closer. Pa, ko, ra. Again, notice you have to be careful. You have to be careful not to put it like this. That's going to make it go. And that will become pagora with a, with a choti oki matra. We don't need pagora, we need pakora. Pakora with a longer O. Pakora. Let's do another one. Choti Oki Matra. A te and a wow. To. To. And then kaf. To, ka. And then a ri. Tokri. It has a. It has a choti oki matra and badi iki matra. To becomes to and then ka and a re join and there you go. Takori. Or rather tokuri. Tokuri. Let's do the next one. Next one is a little bit difficult, but we'll handle it. So first we have a bay 
with a zero under it, which we already learned is a choti e ki matra, choti e. So there is a b, then we have ch and a he, that's going to become ch. That's a ch. This whole thing is one letter ch. So, if you want to write ch in English, you will write to ch and then put another one. Just like that. Ch. We have a ch and do chashmi here. That's ch. So we have b, ch. We don't need ch. We need a body oki matra. So, first we're going to put a vowel next to it and put a zabra on it. b, ch. And that's your ch. B cho and then finally na. Bichona. Let's put them together, shall we? Let's join them together. Again, remember this che when it when it becomes when it's about to join something, it becomes like this. So that's your che. We need a zubber on top. And this bay comes closer and we need a zero on it. And then we have a do chashmi here, do chashmi here continues. And then wow, this whole thing is Oki Matra. This entire thing is Oki Matra. And the wow joins. B Cho. No. There we go. Now I'm gonna write it freehand so you can see how this is written. So that's how we write it. What what is written here is not wrong. What is written here is not wrong, it's just babyish. It looks like a child child's handwriting. Because we have to write a b and then you have to write, lift your hand to make a ch. We don't do that. We just continue b and then ch continues like this. Bichona. Bichona is a bedding. It's a word for bedding. Let's do one. Let's do one with the choti oki matra. Let's do one with the choti oki matra. Where can we put it? Bichona. Don't forget the zabar on Che. Bichona. There's two uh, next one which is a simple one, very simple, straightforward one. So we have a scene and then we have a meme and a O. This is Choti Oki Matra. So this is going to make a Mo. So we have a Sa, then we have a Mo, Choti Oki Matra, Samo, and then another scene and Aleph. Samosa. Now if you remember, when scene is about to join something, it just takes this form. This is it. This is scene. If you have three dots on top of it, that would have been sure. We don't need sure, we need sir. So that's a sir. When meme is about to join something, it goes like this from the top, but when it's about to join something, it looks like this. So one more time, I'm going to show you without lifting hands. So this is sir, then a mo, and then a wow, some more. And then two more for sir and then another one for alif. That's samosa. That's samosa. You know what samosa is, we all eat it. Let's do one one with the body oki matra. Again seen with a zabar and a wow. So this whole thing is so. So Da, so da, go in a row. So da go. You know what so da is? So da is, 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 I think, is a businessman, a trader. A trader is called so da because he does so da. Apne so da banad, so da banadia. That means you agree to a price. So da karliya. So da karliya means you agreed upon a price. Let's do one more. With the body oki matra. And this time you're gonna use a go. Go, but not this go. This go, the way it is written, would have been this go. We don't need this go here. The correct spelling for this word, even though in Hindi is the same thing, but in Urdu, the correct spelling requires that we use gain, not gaf, 
but gain. Gain looks like this. And when it's about to join something, it looks like this. So if you were to spell this word that we're about to write with this ga, this ga, we would have, it would be considered wrong spelling. So remind ourselves that we need gain and not a ga, we put a dot on it, underneath it, in Hindi. So that's gain, to which we're going to join wow and put a zabar on it. Zabar and a wow. So that makes a go. Go. And then finally, ra. Go. What does it mean? What do you suppose go means? Go means to pay attention. Go se dekhe isko. Go se sune me. Go se sune. Please listen attentively. Pay attention. Listen attentively. Go se sune. Go se dekhe. Look at it attentively. Uh, pay attention. Concentrate. That's what it means. Go go means concentrate. Go se dekhe. Go se sune. All right. I was about to say. Aay samaj me. But then I stopped myself. But you would have understood it. So let's join them together. So that's go and a wow. That's go. So far it's a this is a choti yoki matra. With a zabar on it, it becomes a very yoki matra. Go. Go. Let's do one more with a with a very yoki matra. Kaf, wow, ko. I'm not going to write them separately anymore because we have, we, have, we have done many many times and it has a zabar on it. Ko. Long o. Ko. Kon. Kon as in who. Kon a raha hai. Who is coming. Uh, Kon kaam karega. Who is going to do the work. Let's do one last one. A lam. And this is a lam. Let's do it separately. I'm trying to squeeze it in. It looks ugly. Let's do it separately. So this is lam. So we need a la. And then it's going to join the vowel. So we need o ki matra. And then we find out that it's actually bari o ki matra. So we need one more. And then te. Lot. Let's put them together. That's what it means. Lot. What do you suppose lot means? Lot means to come back. Lord giant, come back. Lord giant, come back please. That was it. That's all I had today. And then we'll do a few more words tomorrow as I said. I have a few more for tomorrow. Uh, we'll pick up and continue with this thing tomorrow. Alright? Bye now.